This is a 6.7 Power Stroke, and this is a 2022 Steel Piston 6.7 Power Stroke engine. And today we're going to be taking this 2022 engine and swapping it into a 2012 6.7 Power Stroke. Let's get into it. So we're starting off the intro with a little bit of a bang here. We've got a engine sitting right beside me and a built transmission sitting in front of me. We've got a Warren Diesel stock plus transmission and a 2020 plus steel piston engine going in this customer's 6.7 Power Stroke. We've already pulled the old one here. Y'all guys are about to see us pulling it. This is the old one that came out, as y'all can see, leaking oil like crazy. It had a ton of blow by, so the transmission did not go out of first gear. So the transmission was also cooked in this truck. This is a 2020 plus style engine. So what is different on this one is the exhaust exhaust manifolds, the oil filter housing right here, the oil pan and the timing cover is also different. So you have to do a little bit of modifications that we're gonna show you guys here in a second. This would be technically a high output engine, but since we are putting 2014 stuff in it, it's not, or 2013 stuff in it, it's not gonna technically be a high put output. It's just gonna have those super reliable steel pistons that the 2020s have. So the transmission here as well, it is a Warren Diesel stock plus transmission. So it's got a bunch of upgraded internals. Transmission should be able to hold up to 600 horsepower power. Uh, that's what their warranty is. So he is also getting a Warlock kit. All right, so he's getting a Warlock kit. I'm going to unbox it for you guys right now. He is also getting a DCR pump and a Stage 2 KC Whistler Turbo. Here is the DCR pump. This is going to flow 25% more than the CP4 does. It's also going to be a lot more reliable option for this customer. Really have no disco party, never have any more problems with this truck for a while. We've got a stock CP4 pump. This isn't the exact CP4 on this customer's truck. However, it was on another customer's truck that had a glitter party. It really did destroy his entire CP4 pump. Luckily for this guy, he had a disaster kit on it, so it saved him from needing an entire fuel system. This is kind of the biggest difference. You can see the shape, obviously, is a huge different and difference. And then also the internals. I pop, I'll pop up a little video of what the internals look like on this one. But the internals are a lot different. Should be a lot more reliable pump versus a CP4 pump. This is for the Warlock kit. Here we go. You ready? Moment of truth. So as y'all can see right there, the difference in size of the inlet right there, so much big. I mean, this one, oh my God, hold on a second. This turbo was cooked. As y'all can see the biggest difference in the actual size, the KC uh, Whistler Stage 2 and the older style turbos are a lot different. But one thing I wanted to touch on too is th this customer came in with the air filter looking like this. It was mushed up and just sucked into his uh, intake. And that's what took out his turbo. 100% what took out his turbo. The air filter is also really dirty. So that tells us that it hadn't been changed probably ever. I'm li literally just patting it. <laughs> and it's coming out like crazy. Look how much shit that is, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah, so this is more than likely what took out his turbo. We get a lot of questions saying, hey, my turbo just randomly failed on the highway. That's typically 90% not the case. It's usually something like this that happens that blows up your turbo. Lack of oil changes, lack of air filter changes, stuff like that is what typically takes out these turbos. But this is what a, a normal air filter should look like. Uh, this is off of a Cummins though. It's not off of a Power Stroke. Yeah, this is what it should normally look at like, like this one. But as y'all can see, the biggest difference there. So this is the old intake manifold or lower intake manifold here and this is the new one here so it doesn't have that dual inlet that is what this one fixes let's go ahead and jump into this install i just wanted to show you guys the biggest differences because i've get, been getting a ton of questions online at, about that what is the biggest difference between a warlock kit and other kits and this is it right here so i wanted to stop the video here to tell you guys about the retro fit kit that we have come up with for these exact 2020 and up steel piston engines if y'all guys are looking to get the full retro fit kit for this exact engine it comes complete with everything you need to slap a 2020 steel piston engine and your 2012 6 7 power Stroke. It is the Power Stroke Central Retrofit Kit. Me and my technician, Justin, or the co-owner, has uh, come up with the complete kit where you guys can literally just buy it on our website and drop it in, bolt up directly, go directly into your uh, 6, 7, 2012 6, 7 Power Stroke engine. So you don't have to go and source everything. We're going to do it all for you. We're going to source everything for you and ship it straight to your doorstep. If you always want to get that Retrofit Kit, you guys can. It's on PSCRepair.com, or you guys can visit the link in the description down below.
So we are back on this 6.7 Power Stroke here, 2012. We put a 2023 and up engine in it. So it's got a brand new 6.7 engine. It's also got a built Warren Diesel Stock Plus transmission in it. The converter on the stock Warren Diesel or the Stock Plus transmissions are good for up to 1500 horsepower. We put a pretty moderate, moderate tune on it because Alan does like to beat the hell out of his trucks. So we put a pretty mild tune on it for right now. He's still gonna be able to get a ton of power and it's gonna be enough where he's still gonna be able to enjoy it, still gonna be able to drive it. But this is Alan, this is the customer. And he's actually gonna be driving it today for y'all, showing you guys kind of how it runs and drives and everything. This is the first time that y'all are actually gonna be hearing it fired up. We've already driven it about 500 to 1,000 miles. In that 1,000 miles, we also did a new transmission service. So he has fresh fluid in this truck. I'll start it up for you. Ready? Yep. Oh, it's rowdy. Wait, let me open the door real quick. Uh, all right, wait, stand right there. I'm gonna rev it up. All right. Whistles. Oh, that's yeah. for sure. You ready? Yeah. Where's my next turn at? It's right up there to the left at the billboard. Yes, if y'all guys want to get any of these modifications, once again, you guys can link in the description down below, or you guys can bring it to our diesel repair shop where you guys get this exact job done. Thank you, Alan, again yes, for sir. coming out and being a customer, yes, brother. Sir. And uh, I hope you have a safe trip back. He's all the way from Mississippi, guys. Uh, towed it in here with no transmission. No. It, it wouldn't even get out of first gear. So uh, now it completely runs and drives great. No leaks whatsoever. We've already driven it for 500 miles and everything runs good. He'll have a safe trip back to Mississippi. Hopefully he's never back here again. <laughs>